So the first thing we want to do the exercise is the spinal cord breathing. Spinal cord breathing is like this. The first thing, you tilt your sacrum. The second thing, you pull your hand to the back, like this. So your chest lightly stick out. And when you exhale, okay, you curve your back and you curve your neck in and inhale and exhale. In this way, you activate your spine and you pump the fluid flow. You activate the second pump, you activate the cranial pump, you activate the thymus, thymus gland, you activate the adrenaline gland, and you move your lumbar, which will activate the fluid flow. It's very good exercise. Okay? We call it the spinal cord breathing. And now, uh, 9, 18, 36. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Inhale. And exhale. 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 Rest. Let's shake yourself a little bit. <laughs> Shake your elbow, your wrist, and your lumbar loose. Shake them loose. <laughs> You're going to loosen a lot of the neck area. So the crane neck is the first thing you extend your neck out this way. And make a circle out. So make a circle like this. And this will activate the cervical area which is connecting so many nerves. So make your neck out. Now you're going to combine with the lumbar. So your lumbar is going to move in and out like that. Okay, so you extend out. Rest. Shake yourself a little bit. <laughs> Rock yourself a little bit. Now picture you are riding on a horse. A horse slowly taking you walk along the lake. Just slowly walk along the lake, you know. Very slowly walking along the lake. And your head lightly not. That's why the riding a horse is very good. You know? People don't know where it's good because it rock all your spinal cord all loose. Especially when you walk on a big meadow along the lake, you know, it's so nice to absorb all the energy. Now slowly feel the rocking very, very internalized. I, in a, when I start the meditation, I always let it rock for a while until my lumbar are so good, so open, and it's, it's so much energy coming up. Okay? Especially um, because the fluid, the lumbar area, when you move this way, 
it will help activate the pump. Uh, a pump is there, okay? Especially the lumbar when you rock it this way. You open the pump and you pump the fluid flow. Okay? And where I feel the fluid flow or not flow is I feel so warm in the, my lumbar and that's it. And that's how I get it. And I go to the next process. Now. Sitting position is very important when you sit, you know, feel your feet touching the ground and sit out a little bit. And your back should be straight. Don't sack this way or don't sack this way. Feel your sitting bone sit on the chair. And the hand always uh, can beginning with the left hand on the bottom, the right hand on the top, and holding it. And your tongue placed behind the teeth. Okay. And your chin lightly pushing. You can start with the meditation with the eye lightly dimly open, concentrate on your nose. If you if you feel sleepy, your eye lightly open and concentrate on your nose. And your nose concentrate to your heart. When you feel you get control, you can slowly close your eyes. Some people, when they close their eye, they fall asleep. Now, for people that hand shutter, you can get a pillow, put on the here, and you put it up high. Okay, pillow. Some people like to put it this way. You also can put the hand, interact the finger together, and put it right here. The important part is you don't feel a stress on your shoulder. And I like to, during the meditation, I like to shake. Sometimes it's the automatic movement by itself. Like when I do meditation, sometimes it just, it jerk me. Sometimes it, <laughs> it jerk me. Sometimes it shake me. <laughs> this happens by itself. <laughs> and it stops. And I'm creating a lot of energy, and I gather the energy again. And when I feel tired, a little bit, feel stressed, and it shakes me again. <laughs> Especially if you sit too long, the lumbar pain, and the fluid don't flow, and it automatically shaking me in that area. It's just automatic shaking in, my, in, the, in the lumbar area. And sometimes my shoulder pain, it keeps on just shaking me on the shoulder. On the neck pain, it's just like this all the time. Until the pain gone, and it stop. So the energy sometimes you have intelligence, you know where to go by itself, you know.